All right, guys, moving on to the next set of problems. So now we're going to be dealing with special, well, I know we've been dealing with special right triangles, but these are special in a way that it's going to be either a 30, 60, 90, or a 45, 45, 90. And so the very first thing you got to do is figure out where your 30, well, first of all, figure out whether it's a 45, 45, 90, or a 30, 60, 90, and label it accordingly. So for number nine, we see that we have 30 de our 30 degree angle there and so that means that uh the other other angle is 60 degrees and so across 30 is always going to be x across 90 is always going to be 2x and across 60 is going to be x square roots of 3. The next step is figure out what side do you have information for and make an equation out of that side. So here's what I mean. So I have information for the side x or, or the across the 30. And so the equation that I would do is you set up what you labeled it, which we labeled it x, and we set that equal to what they labeled it, which in this case is 5. Now from here, if I needed to do any other steps to solve for x, then this is where I would do it. But in this case, I already got x by itself. Now, this is a little bit different from the x that they're labeling it. So what I recommend is, as you label it, kind of ignore or cross off what they labeled it. Because we're going to come back to that at the very end of the problem. And so here, wherever you put an x, I want you to go back and replace it with what you just found x to be, which in this case is 5. And so up here, for my hypotenuse, where I have 2 times x, well, I just found x to be 5, so I replace it, which gives me that the hypotenuse, or this entire side, is actually 10. Same, here, same thing down here. So I have x times the square root of 3, and I just found x to be 5. So I'm going to replace that x with that 5. And so here, I can't really do any more simple fake simplification. So my answer is going to stay as 5 times the square root of 3. And so the only thing that's left to do here is go back and answer their questions. And what I mean by that is, what side what side are they calling y? For, for y equals, they're calling y down here, which we just found to be 5 square roots of 3. And so that's the answer we're going to write for when they're asking what's y equal to, well here my y is equal to 5 square roots of 3. Now you have to be have to be careful here because they're asking you or they're telling you what is the value of x. Now this is not the x that, this is not this x, okay? That's not the x that they're asking. They're asking what is the x that they labeled. They labeled the x to be the hypotenuse which is up there. And we found the hypotenuse to be 10. Notice how that is different to the x that we found. Okay, And so that's why it's important to kind of cross off what they labeled to begin with and then kind of just refer back to it at the end. So let's take a look at another problem. Let's look at number 10. So once again, we notice that this is a 30, 60, 90. And I know that it's a 30, 60, 90 because here I have 90 degrees. And they're telling me the other angle is 30, which means that the only other option that's left is for that to be 60. And so we're going to label it once again. Across 30 is x. Across 90, or your hypotenuse, is 2x. And across 60 is x square roots of 3. Once again, kind of ignore what they labeled it. And so the next step would be is figure out what side do they give us information for. And so you notice that we have information for the side with the hypotenuse. And so that's the equation we're going to set up again. The, how you set up your equation is what you labeled it. So we labeled it 2x. And we're going to set that equal to what they labeled it, which is in this case is 8. And so here, x is not by itself yet. But we could get it by itself by simply dividing by 2 on both sides and we get our x value to be 4. 
And so because this x value that we found is 4, wherever you put an x, that's what I'm going to replace the x with. And so here I put an x, which means I'm going to replace it with 4. Here I put an x, which means I'm replacing that with 4. And wherever you need to simplify, that's where you simplify. So up here, there's really nothing to simplify. So my answer for that side, or the length of that side, is 4. And for the y side, again, there's nothing much to simplify. So I get 4 square roots of 3. And then we go back and answer their question. What are they calling y? Well, they call y this length right here, which I just found to be 4 square roots of 3. And so that's my answer for y, 4 square roots of 3. For x, it just happens to be the side that we also call x, which in this case is just 4. Okay, moving on to number 11. So once again, so here they don't specifically give me an 80 degree angle, but if that's 30 and this is 60, that's 90. We know that the sum of the interior angles should add up to 180. So 90, sorry, 180 minus 90 leaves us with 90. So here I have another 30, 60, 90 across x. We're gonna we're gonna label it x across 90. Is always going to be 2x and across 60 is x square roots of 3. Step number two would be figure out what side we have information for. And so in this case, we have information for the side that we labeled x square roots of 3. And so remember, the equation, or, or to set up an equation, you write down what you labeled it. And we're going to set that equal to what they labeled it, which in this case is 9. <clears throat> and so here, we're going to have to divide by the square root of 3. Now, for those of us that are not familiar on how to rationalize the denominator, the shortcut, the shortcut is if the number you're going to divide by, or the number that you're dividing, does it have a square root? If it doesn't, then the shortcut is going to be you divide by the number inside the square root. So 9 divided by 3 gives me 3. And then you add the square root. So the shortcut is, does it have a square root? If it does, then you divide it. If it doesn't, then you divide by the number inside the square root. So 9 divided by 3. And then you add the square root. So that's the shortcut. Here's the actual form. So I'll put actual. Okay. So here's what it would actually look like. So x square roots of 3 is equal to 9. The first step would be to divide both sides by the square root of 3. On the left side, they would cancel, and I get x equals 9 or the square roots of 3. Now, we cannot leave a square root in the denominator, so here's what we'd have to rationalize. To do that, you multiply the top and the bottom by the square roots of 3, and we're going to simplify. So here, x would be, on top we have 9 square roots of 3. At the bottom, because we're multiplying the square root of 3 and the square root of 3, we get the square root of 9. But the square root of 9 is actually 3 and so here we would have to divide 9 by 3 which is which was kind of our shortcut over here and so 9 divided by 3 is 3 bring down the square root and so you notice we get the same thing okay so that's that's where the 3 square roots of 3 is coming from all right so now back to the original problem so the last step is, once I've found what x is, my x, then I'm going to go back and replace it wherever I placed an x. So I placed an x, I placed an x here, so I replace it with 3 square roots of 3 because that's what I put for x. Same thing down here. I have 2 times x, and I just found x to be 3 square roots of 3. Now, on the x side, or the side across 30 degrees, 
I can't really simplify it any further. So it's going to stay as 3 square roots of 3. But for the y side or the side across the 90, we can actually multiply the 2 and the 3 to give us, oh, do it black, to give us 6 square roots of 3. And so those are going to be my answers. For the side they're calling y is going to be 6 square roots of 3. For the side they're calling x is 3 square roots of 3. And so those are my answers for number 11. Moving on to question number 12. Okay, so question number 12, once again, the first thing is, doesn't matter whether it's a 45, 45, 90, 36, 90, the first thing is label it. So because that's 45, that means this, uh, this angle over here is also going to be 45, which means if I label it according to my triangle, this side would be x, this side would also be x, and across 90 would be x square roots of 2. And just how we did for the other problems, the first step or the second step is figure out what side you have information for. And in this case, I have the information for the side that I labeled x. And so we would set up my equation. So we have x, which is what I labeled it, set that equal to what they labeled it, which in this case is 2 square roots of 3. And if we need to solve, then here is where we would solve or simplify. And so once I found that my x is 2 square roots of 3, I'm going to go back and replace it wherever I place an x. So here I placed an x, so that's where I would replace it. So I get 2 square roots of 3, and as well as up here. So if I replace it, it would look like 2 square roots of 3 in parentheses times the square root of 2. Now because we have 2 square roots, we actually can multiply the square roots. And so we would get 2 times the square root of 6. Now if we were able to simplify further, then we would. But in this case, it, we can't really simplify the square root of 6, so it stays as 2 square roots of 6. And so finally, the last thing to do is go back and answer their questions. They, they, they called x this side, which is 2 square roots of 3. And they labeled y the hypotenuse, which simplified down to 2 square roots of 6. Right. Moving on. So question number 13, once again, we have the same thing. So that's 45, that's 45. So go ahead and label it. So this is x, x and x square roots of 2. So here, we have information for the x root 2 part, which means that we would set up our equation as x square roots of 2 equals 14. So once again, we can go through and divide by the square root of 2, rationalize, simplify, and then we get our x. Or, remember the shortcut. The shortcut is, does the number you're going to divide have a square root? If it does then go ahead and divide it that way. But in this case, it doesn't. So the shortcut is, if it doesn't have a square root, you divide by the number inside the square root. So 14 divided by 2 gives us 7. And then you add the square root in there. So when I solve for x, after rationalizing and everything, I would get x equals 7 square roots of 2. And so the last step would be go, go back and replace wherever you put an x, replace it with 7 root 2. So here this side is 7 root 2, and this side up here is also 7 root 2. And so here there's no really simplifying, both x and y's are 7 square roots of 2.